Hello out there, YouTubers. A little later on this afternoon, I had to clean up the place. If you saw the last movie, which I kind of hope, wish you did, hope you did, you saw that I hit the uh, hit the dog with a uh, blade. I didn't hit it hard. I just it was a glancing blow off the side here, but it dulled off this side of the teeth. I don't know whether you can see what I'm pointing to up there. It's hard hard to tell. I'll take you in over there closer. So, <coughs> you can't, I'm, I don't know how close this will get and focus in. Doesn't look like it's focusing to me. So it's not going to do me, let me, uh, I think I zoomed out. Let me zoom back in. It's thinking about focusing. Um, anyhow, it uh, knocked this back edge off a little bit and knocked... A lot of these, you I don't know if you can see it. Just this little, this this little corner here is what it knocked off, and did enough to make that uh, saw run out of the uh, cut. So I'm having to go by, and what I what I've done is I've measured all these. This is 259 thousandths. This is 265. This is uh, 260, and I've already started swedging them up. So I went. Uh, I went from 64 to 74, 64 to 74, so I'm going to bring them all up to 74. 274 is actually the number, but I don't see any point in writing two every time. So uh, I'll show you me doing that. The swedging tool, here's my swedging tool. I got the red side, which is the curved side. I marked that, hit that first, and you don't have to hammer the heck out of it. And then this is, this is the flat side, this is the curved side. And what it'll do, if you guys have never done it, it'll make this, it'll make this wider. And um, I'm measuring all of them with my little handy dandy micrometer. My hammer that I couldn't find the other day was right in the box. Uh, got a crayon to kind of keep track of what it is. So it takes a long time to do this. And I know you guys don't need to see a movie of me sharpening this whole blade. Because believe it or not, when you start sharpening a blade, it seems like you never get around to the other side. It's just one of them things that happens. But um, so I'm going to put you on the tripod watching me bang it for a little bit and then I'll uh, just turn it off and finish it up for myself and then I'm gonna ah, you didn't see a bumblebee just landed on me um, let me zoom it in a little bit and maybe you'll be able to uh, keeps going every now and then and what I do is I generally wrap my leg around the back of it back of the blade it gives me a good spot to See, I can come in here and hold that blade. So I know this one here is 64. This one here is 60. So is all I did to achieve that is, is put this on there. It looks like I already swedged that one because now it's 74. So I'll just write 74. So I'm happy with that. It's, it's sharp. And so what you do is you bring it around and you, sh you... I sharpen them first. Some people don't. Then you put the round side on. And this thing's nice because this one here has a gauge, a little edge on it. Now I already put a little oil on this thing, so you, you probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And try to get it in the middle the best you can. And this lines mine up so they're all pretty consistent. Because I'm 65 and I'm only going to 74, I'll just give it a couple hits. Then flip it around to straighten the blade out, or straighten the tooth out. And then resharpen is what I do. That's pretty good. Then I'll recheck it to see where I'm at. I'm at 74. So I'm alright with that. This one here is 59, so I might have to hit it a little extra. Also, this thing's got, you can't see it, but it's got a little bit of an edge on there. From when, like, like when you cut a piece of metal off, how you have, you can hear it maybe. Where this side just rolls off, so I gotta... It's just, it's just a little burr. And I don't want it there. I don't think that, yeah, I already knocked the burr off of that one. So this one's 59 if I mic'd it right a minute ago. Let me see what we got. Yep, 59. So I know I'm gonna have to hit it, uh, maybe this one six times. It doesn't, it doesn't take a whole lot. Put it in the middle. And then 
and I resharpen them. Didn't take much. Let's see what we're at here. Was it 59? We're at 69, so I got to do a little bit more. I like to keep them even. Hit a little harder, I guess, maybe. Oh, let's see where we're at now. 62. I'm going to leave it at 62. They kind of wear down the way they want to pretty quick anyway. So it's it's all right. We're only talking a few thousand. You're talking the thickness of a hair. No, that was 74. Was that 62? Maybe I read that wrong. I, I, that's too much. No, 72. We'll put a 7 on there. That's what happens when I'm on the camera. I don't pay attention. 72. So that's only a thickness of a hair difference between this one and this one. That really isn't going to make or break your day. I think the burr on that on that far side is what's, what's making it lead out. Uh, this is 63, so maybe just a double hit on this one will be good. There, couldn't you? Change his tone a little bit. Alright, let's see what this one's at now. That's at 70. 71. Ah, give it another hit. It don't really make a whole lot of difference. then when I file it, because the teeth are tapered, it starts making it smaller anyway. Alright, let's see what we got on this one here. 74. That's pretty good. This one here is a 60, I can't read it, it looks like 65. Yeah, 65, so it's a, it's a double hitter. Normally, normally I don't mic them, and normally I don't swedge them, because you're not screwing up the sizes of them, but I, I want to make sure that the sizes are pretty close to where they're supposed to be. And turn it around, hit the flat side. I don't know what it is before I file, let me just see, that's 78. Seventy-seven, a little, little strong. So we'll just, you can look at it and just about see where it is. A little strong to the inside. How they used to do that? Okay, we're at seventy-four. Um, how they used to fix the side so you don't have a bunch of saw marks in the side. And that, that was one thing. It was, it was sawing pretty clean. I, that's enough for looking at how I do that. That's. Oh lordy, getting up. I'll show you the side of the um, uh, board that I cut. This is, you can see it, it's, it's rotten. Oh, let me zoom you back out. Not a very good photographer. It, it's not, it's soft and punky in here, so I'm just going to send this to the, uh, I might, no, I'm just going to send it. But look at this, you can just barely, barely see the saw marks. It's almost it's almost smooth. That thing was really sawing, sawing nice. And that always happens when you're sawing nice. That's the uh, I don't know what it is. You can see little, just little marks here. Here you can see, you can see a couple little marks here. But overall, it was sawing. You get into an area now. This is soft wood, so it doesn't really show its mark. It's fuzzy wood, so it it it's not as bad. But you can. You can see the saw marks there, but they're very faint. It was cutting real nice and true. So, anyway, I got to get back to the old saw blade. It needed sharpening anyway, so 
I'll be all right, but it'll take a little while to get back probably to this nice smooth cut. Oh, if you didn't, I, I, if you didn't see that, that's I nicked uh, nicked it right here. You can kind of see. And the reason I did it, I knew I had clearance. You know, if you didn't see it in the other movie, I knew I had clearance up at the top. I wasn't going to hit it, but you see, you can't see. There's a little bit of an angle, so it, when it sits down in the log, it pulls it out a little bit and just caught the very edge. That's why I didn't catch the whole thing. So, anyhow, that's uh, where we're at. I thought I'd be a little more sawing today, but we're having a station break. So I'll get back with you hopefully in a little while. I'm gonna put you back in the tripod if you can bipod tripod anyhow if you like these kind of movies hit the um hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and you'll see all sorts of weirdness stuff going on here lately i've been doing a lot of sawing i got to get back into some other stuff um but uh hit the like and subscribe button if you don't mind and send it to a friend and if you didn't like it send it to somebody uh you don't particularly like and annoy them so over now for now guys this is this is friday night uh, i'm not sure exactly when i'll when i'll put this on because i just kind of put them on orders when i take them so um over now we'll see you guys later bye